Hi everybody. I had some people asking for a, another video on making frames in Canva, but this time um, for those of you with free accounts. Uh, so I am going to do one now uh, using completely free, uh, free Canva. And then uh, the other program you're going to use is also completely free. Uh, so let's get started. I've already made a blank document here, which is just a Instagram post 1080 by 1080. And we're going to go over here to elements and search black and white. And we're going to look at graphics. Okay. And I am going to look for ones that do not say pro. Okay, this one looks like it is a free. So we're going to make a frame from this uh, paint dripping. Okay. So what we're going to do is now that you have that on your, your uh, design, you're just going to go over to the right to share, download, and you're going to save it as a PNG. Okay, and we're going to save it with a transparent background. No, we're not going to save it with a transparent background because that's a pro feature. <laughs> we're just going to save it as a PNG. Okay, and I'm going to save it to my work in progress folder. Paint drips PNG. Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to go to... Inkscape. Okay, this is a free program as well. And we are going to go to File, Import, and we are going into our Work in Progress folder. And I'm going to find, where is it? Where is it? Paint Drips. Okay. All right, now we brought that in, and I'm just going to make it a little smaller. Okay, and then over here on the right, you should have some uh, tabs, okay? And what we are looking for is the trace bitmap, okay? So make sure you have your PNG selected, and then find trace bitmap, and click apply, all right? So now there is our SVG. We're going to get rid of this. Okay. We're going to bring that back over here. So now we have the SVG that we needed um, to do the uh, trans transition from uh, transition into a frame. Okay. So again, I'm going to go up here to import back into my file, and I have this checkerboard design that I. Uh, created just for this purpose and I'm going to enlarge that so it covers the whole uh, paint splatter and over here on the right I'm in layers and I'm going to drag that image underneath my path okay so my paint splatters are on top I'm going to hold in my shift key and I'm going to select the paint splatters and the checkerboard then I'm going to right click and I'm going to go down here and hit set clip. All right. And now you see that that checkerboard image took on the shape of our paint splatter. Okay. Now we are going to export this and I'm going to go over here to export and we are going to make sure that we save it as a PDF. So we're going to put paint drips and we're going to save it as a PDF. Okay. Now we're going to go back to Canva and delete that and to uploads. Actually, I'm just going to drag it in work in progress. Where are our paint drips? Paint drips, paint drips. PDF paint drip. There they are. 
We're just going to drag that into Canva. And remember, that's going to be down here in your projects. And right there it is, Paint Drips PDF. Drag that over to your design. Delete image. And there you go. You have a custom frame. But now we can just drag any image or graphic that we want to into these paint drips. There you go. That's all there is to it. And now again, let's make sure we name this paint drips, share, more, save it to a folder, and it's ready to go the next time you want it. All right, so that's all there was to it. Um, we did it completely free. We used a free element, downloaded it as a PNG without a transparent background, and we used Inkscape to convert it, and that is 100% free as well. So this is how you make a frame if you are on a free Canva account.